hello 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 i hope this finds you well so i'm sitting here today thinking about um mental illness and i'm thinking about all the issues that are going on in our world today and these acts of violence and people constantly either getting hurt or losing their life over trivial things and i think a lot of it has to do with the fact that mental illness is not treated as high priority in our communities. Um, We have limited resources. If you think of high schools, high schools have, certain high schools have one social worker, one psychiatrist, and you're talking about a population of six to 700 students where maybe 10 to 15%, and that's a low number, 10 to 15% of the population um, needs to have psych evaluations, uh, needs to receive social work services, and it's just not enough. It's not enough when you talk about one person dealing with so many cases, and in some cases, uh, student students use multiple, um, they go through multiple things. When I was growing up, I always thought that therapy, um, going to therapy, um, was for white people. I or was taught listening to your parents and um, relatives, period, uh, people in the community, those were things that white people, that white rich people did. And we as black people, we work through our problems and you know we've been always forced to work through our problems and that's what we'll continue to do. And then as I got older, you know, I was having a conversation with a friend and it was like, you know, therapy is something that is covered under your insurance. And why not take advantage of it? You know, because if you think of having to vent to your friends, I mean, we all have had to vent to our friends and it feels so good to sit and vent to your friend and just just let them have it. However... You don't want to get to the point where if you're going through something, you do not want to get to the point where you are constantly calling the same person and you're venting and you're venting and you're venting because at that point, I don't know, I feel like at that point I'm wearing out my welcome. And if this is something that is consuming a lot of my time, then I need to seek professional help. And it only makes sense. It only makes sense to seek professional help to deal with things that we have to deal with. I am against all this medicine for different um, illnesses because I feel like a lot of times the medicine, all it does is it covers up and masks the problem. You don't really know um, your level of pain. And I mean, if you think about an aspirin. You know, if you constantly take aspirin for headaches, you know, at one point you're getting used to it. You don't know what's causing the headache. And I mean, it's just a sad situation. And um, this stuff just lays heavy on my heart. It really does. And I think that uh, we as people have to continue to have these conversations. And I think that we have to continue to address them. And we have to work with our children. And we have to work with our village. And we have to not continue to accept the things that are going on. We have to have these conversations more. We cannot assume that everyone, oh, you'll get over it. Can't assume that everyone will get over it. It's like, what can we do? What can you do to help, you know, someone in your community receive help? Or everybody doesn't know what to do, you know? We all have a gift to share with somebody else and and to help them and to help each other grow. And I think that it is time that we kind of hold hands and lift each other up. And, oh, you need that? Oh, okay. I know. I know just the place for you. You know, and it's not saying that you're going around and you just got to take care of this person and this person. You know, we are able to provide avenues for people. And, um, I mean, it's just important. Mental mental illness is it's, it's real. You know, I I don't know how 
much more I can stand to see another child lose their life over something senseless or another child go to jail for taking someone's life over something senseless like surely you can go find you another pair of gym shoes or surely you can find you another boyfriend or surely you can just wait until you meet a person that's not going to make you want to kill somebody so uh, that's just it you know